It's time to hop back in our 66 Chevy Suburban and take another Louisiana road trip. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you. Our Louisiana travels continue, and it's time to spice things up a bit with a visit to Avery Island, home to Tabasco pepper sauce. Food lovers across the globe are familiar with Avery Island, Louisiana. Roughly 100,000 tourists visit this place every year because of a burning passion to one particular product. Here, in 1868, Edmund McElhenney produced a little bottle of hot pepper sauce that sent culinary shockwaves all over the world. All right, I'd like to welcome y'all to Avery Island, home of the famous Tabasco sauce. Mr. McElhenney started his sauce after the Civil War just with his friends and his family. We now bottle over 700,000 bottles a day. The McElhenney Company remains a family-run business. Tony Simmons is a great-great-grandson of Edmund McElhenney and company president. We have uh, a very loyal fan base uh, around the world and they love, if they can, to come visit uh, what they know to be the home of their favorite hot sauce and come to Avery Island and actually see it made and experience it. Originally, all peppers used in Tabasco sauce were grown on Avery Island. Today, peppers grown on the island are used to produce seed stock, which is then shipped to foreign growers, primarily in Central and South America. Peppers are grounded to a mash on the day of harvest. The pepper mash is then shipped back to Avery Island. John Simmons is Vice President of Agriculture for McElhenney Company. I think more than anything, this is what really demonstrates how unique and special a product we are because here's where you see the three-year aging process right as it's happening before our very eyes. The pepper mash is poured into recycled white oak whiskey barrels. Then salt, which is mined underground on Avery Island, is added to the barrel top. That salt eventually creates a natural seal in the aging process. What's gonna happen is carbon dioxide is gonna be created inside that barrel and it's gonna escape. You can see gas bubbling up right there. That's carbon dioxide escaping. From here, the barrels are taken to another building next door. Welcome to our aging warehouse. So this is where we take everything that was barreled next door and we store it for the next three years while it ages and becomes that perfect Tabasco sauce. And after that three year sleep, the pepper mash gets a wake up call from company president, Tony Simmons. And this is what we've been doing for a long time. So good morning, Claude. So they'll tell me where each of these barrels came from. Okay. Um, we have tags on our barrels that will allow us to trace back where these products came from, almost to the field they came from. You know, your nose is much more sensitive than your tongue. You're right, for sure. So, sure. so I'll smell each barrel to make sure there are no off odors, there's nothing wrong with it, that it's got a nice fruity smell uh, that it should have. And then I'll also taste some of it. Now, when you taste Tabasco mash, it's about 10 times as hot as the product. Really? You want to try it? Okay. All right. Just a pinch, right? Just a little pinch. You put it okay. on your tongue. Front of the tongue? Or right. front of your tongue. Let, let it sit there for a minute. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then go ahead and put it in the cup. We're bringing spitting in Louisiana to new heights. <laughs> but you'll get a little bit of salt. You taste that salt out yeah, on sure the edges do. of your tongue. Yep. And now I feel the heat. Now you feel the heat coming late. I love you. But currently, we're shipping to about 185 countries. We bottle in 22 languages and dialects. And we do all that here at Avery Island. Every bottle of Tabasco in the world comes from Avery Island. After this line inspection, a happy president gives his seal of approval. Smells like money, tastes like candy. <laughs> Next, the mash gets strained add some vinegar and in about 28 days the hot pepper sauce is ready to be bottled and shipped all over the world even out of this world tabasco has traveled with astronauts on the space shuttle and international space station back on earth tabasco is also the favorite hot sauce to queen elizabeth and the royal family we are very very honored and humbled that um, the queen 
is a fan of the brand and that we have been able to demonstrate that our product has been in the royal household for uh, a certain period of time and that we meet some very uh, strict standards that the royal family has uh, for conservation, for sustainability, uh, and for environmental uh, stewardship. That passion for the environment and conservation is clearly evident and seen just a few steps from the Tabasco factory at a place called Jungle Gardens. This peaceful 170-acre wildlife sanctuary is filled with botanical treasures and wildlife for all to explore. This area was created by E.A. McElhenney in 1895, when snowy egrets were nearly hunted to extinction. During that time, egrets were hunted for their feathers for ladies' hats. E.A. was credited by the Audubon Society with helping save the snowy egret from extinction. Theodore Roosevelt called the most important or, or impressive uh, preserve in the country. E.A. McElhenney showed that you can make a difference uh, in conservation just by acting on your own. Your last stop could be the Tabasco Country Store for some special sauces and souvenirs. Me, I was lucky enough to get something you won't find in the country store. We created a stainless steel spoon and we, we named our order the not so ancient order, because it's not very old, of the not so silver spoon because it's stainless steel. <laughs> So allow me to oh congratulate you goodness. on your entrance into the NSAO NSSS. Oh, I am so flattered. <laughs> I will cherish this. So that's just a short history course on Tabasco pepper sauce, the family who makes it, and the impact they have made on the world. And that's the end of this road for now. Louisiana has so many great travel destinations to enjoy, so get on out there. And I hope to see you next time on My Louisiana Travels. Maybe I'll see you out there. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you.